Hey you chickadees, I'm Lay Rooster and you're in the hen house. Today we're talking about the amalgam, some frequently asked questions because this ship seems to be misunderstood or more so there's a lot of stuff going on with this ship and people keep asking questions and we keep talking about it. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to talk about some of the highlights to answer some of those questions because if you don't have one, it's a little harder to know unless you can talk to people who do have it or if you've read a bunch of things. So hopefully this will help you out and I hope you like it. So we're going to be talking about the amalgam ship itself, but primarily what do you use it for? Um, what do you do with what you get with this amalgam and the plundered cargo? Where do you get it? What do you do with it? Why should you care? And those are the things we're going to be talking about in here. Because the Amalgam is very special in that it's a specialty ship that actually has more than one purpose to it. And so that per the purposes that it has are going to appeal to different people or to different parts of your gameplay um, and the same person. So let's talk about it again. So here we've got the Amalgam in her glory. Um, she is, uh, you know, a pack-led junker jalopy of beauty i must say there's something she's so ugly she's beautiful as far as i'm concerned um and that was part of the draw for me so there she is been a little fun messing around with this so i'll talk about it all right so here's the ship mine is uh at tier three um nothing too special but we've got her um the big thing about her is of course her ship ability this combat scavenger um, after winning a battle, if the target has more resources than the available cargo space, if the amalgam fills its cargo space and then takes an additional, in my case, 0.03% of the remaining resources, it starts at 0.01% and I'm tier three, thus three. Um, this ability only activates if the amalgam has available empty cargo space before attacking. So once you're full, this ability does not activate. So that's important to remember. That means you can't sit there and raid. Now, this immediately we've talked about this from when the game uh, when the ship was announced for the game we realized this ability means big time loot on big base raids um and it's got a cloaking option if you work on that and unlock that so that maybe you can sneak it in before people realize they really got a shield because the bigger the loot the more the haul in this case so what we have learned in gameplay is that something that happens is when you get the extra loot, it actually is on your ship. So presumably it can be lost. Um, it sits there. You'll see whatever your max cargo is, you'll see it being increased by a large percentage um, once you are carrying that extra load home. So we used to think that maybe it was magically transporting back. It doesn't. It's on your ship. You'll see that when you have the amalgam. Now again, how do you get the amalgam? Right now, it's the credit card. It's money. So this is a pay-to-own ship at the moment. The idea has always been from when they released it that it will be available for the free-to-play grind. Exactly how that's coming out, how long it's going to take, how difficult or how appealing it's going to be, we don't know. Scopely really should have um, thought about telling us that. So I know some people are better about it. And I'll let, leave your comments down below. Uh, maybe Scopely will see them. Anyway, um, it's going to be released at some point in the future. And now that we're out of the arc, We'll see how long that future is. Hopefully it's soon, but who knows how long it's going to take or what means they're going to use for us to get these blueprints um, the alternative way. So again, big time base raider. All right, it's a miner, but everyone seems to say that it's not very good at mining. And I haven't even bothered to try it out because that's not what it's you know there for. It also puts warp rating back on the table. That way the occasional one or two Z hit uh, on warp rating can yield more than what some of the other ships do or might make warp rating worth it again. So for those of you who remember doing that um, and all that. So that's the ship itself. Now when we talk about what do we do with it? Well, that's where the mechanics come into play. So what you want to do is you want to be mining the plundered cargo. It's an essential part of the feature. You have a refinery and you have an officer store. Let's call it that. We're going to look at these in a second. So Things run off plundered cargo. We've seen this before, like with Borg probes or frequency modulators for the Franklin. This is one where you have to go get go to get special stuff to get this plundered cargo. Now let's see. I've got this ship sitting here, and in my guy, where do we go? Let's get a scan out. It is in these new systems that they put in with the Ark, uh, the border systems for the Klingon Romulan War. I've got a ship in both. It's this little tail system here. It starts around the 28 and goes up to the 48 um, here and Phelan up into uh, 40, 
48 on the Klingon and Romulan side. These are the places they introduced where you can farm hostiles without losing rep. So, and uh, not ironically, some of the features of this ship in the refinery have to do with not losing or boosting rep. So it's all starting to come together many, many arcs away. So if we look at the ship and in the space here, um, once, once it loads, we have the Star Empire skirmishers that are there, battleships, but we also have these these trader supply ships, Klingon supply ships. So these are the ones. So when we look at their rewards, you'll see enemy cargo has this symbol, like this one has 9,236. It is plundered cargo. Cargo plundered from Klingon and Romulan supply ships found in systems, right? So uh, let's let's call it, you know, 10,000, almost 10,000. Some are a little over. You know, we'll look at it. Uh, here's another one right next to it. And when we look at that cargo, there's this one's over 10,000. So it varies a little bit like the Borg probes and some of those different things we've seen. So these are the ones that give you the plundered cargo and you get about 10,000 on a pop. Um, however, there's some mechanics with that. Now you collect these, this plundered cargo and then you go to your refinery. So now you can do it with the amalgam, but that doesn't seem to be the best way all the time. So let's look a little bit. Let's go into the refinery just to show. One of the problems that makes it harder to understand this is um, until you have the amalgam unlocked, you don't get the refinery or the officer store. So people wonder more. This is the amalgam refinery. And you can see I have the refinery and it's based on your tier. So be aware of that. The plunder section, which is important. And then we have all these purchases for the different skins. Um, one of the big features that's different than if you don't care about the rating and all that is that you can earn some of these original cool Enterprise skins and the D4 refit and the Augur refit. So the Epic Ship stuff, the Jellyfish refit, and then earn some of these meaningful projectile things, uh, projectile blast ones that have bonuses as opposed to just cosmetic ones, as well as cloaking for the amalgam to be sneaky raider ish or something like that so you're going to have the ability to earn those which is something that you might care about even if you're not don't care about raiding now the plundered cargo the amalgam refinery um which mine are not ready um will pop and it gives you these parts and this other bit looks like warp interlock coils and belt buckles to me all right so now um we'll look at that in a minute um, the plunder one gives you an exocomp specific to the amalgam that makes the amalgam get a almost 10,000 percent more from each kill um, of those same hostile ships. So when you're running that, which only run, lasts for an hour, that's when you're using the amalgam for sure uh, to do that because you can quickly get a lot. In order to pull in the early tiers to pull the amalgam refinery, you need two million of the plundered cargo, which is a lot because it's only dropping 10,000. So that does take a while. However, to get the plunder exocomps, it takes um, 100 or 500,000 to get two full pulls and uh, 500,000 will get you two and 100,000 will get you one. That lasts you for an hour. You can easily get some millions um, if you work it hard, especially if you bring in your discovery with summoning and things to make this fast um, while you're using this exocomp when using the amalgam. So, there's a natural desire to make sure you can pull these to pull with 500,000 uh, points of plundered cargo to be able to pull the plunder every three days when it pops so that you can have a backlog of those. And then when you have those, you can consider running the amalgam so that every three days when the refinery runs to get ship parts and the officer piece tokens, let's call them. It's more than that, but we'll look at that. That way you'll have the two million at least to do the pull. As it goes up in tiers, I think it increases, but I haven't got that far yet, so we'll see. Come check out on the stream and we'll be looking at it um, each day and week as we progress. So um, looking at that, you do get the ship parts. Those parts from the refinery are gonna be what you use to actually um, build up the components uh, for the amalgam ship. And then uh, you go in. So when we look at our officers and go to our recruit tabs, this is where you see the other part. And that's where I have this amalgam special. Notice it's tier one through five here, so it is tier based as well. Um, now this one, um, it requires what I'm calling the belt buckles right here, which is the amalgam refinery tokens, which you got from the refinery. 
um, in addition to ship parts. Um, and then you, those pull. I've got 875. The minimum I can do is when I have a thousand, I can pull. All right. And so when you pull, this is the part that's going to be more appealing to most people, even if you don't care about the rating aspect. When you pull, you will get one of these Honor Guard Warp Shard um, chances. You will get one of these um, special reputation reduction exocomps or reputation boosters. Helpful if you're doing a dual tri, tri faction lock run um, or you're trying to save your progress um, or trying to push up for the big unlock, for the big locks, things like that. Plus, you will get one of these pulls from the ship, sk ship skin shard tracker. She sells seashells by the seashore, something like that. So that's what you'll be getting there. Um, and these are the currency that are used to buy the skins that we've talked about. So you'll accrue them, plus you'll be getting Honor Guard Warp, who's a great PvP officer. Comes in handy for all those P PvP events right now. And then the Exocomp. So you'll be getting those pulls. Now, talking about what do you do um, if you don't have the ship? Well, you can't do the refinery uh, and all that, but the ship is coming, and at some point we'll know how fast it's going to take. So let's just move my ship. So if, uh, the answer... Uh, one of the answers is use your Vidar. So I've got my Vidar in this part of the space, the Romulan one. And yeah, it is the Rom you know, the Vidar is good. It's an interceptor, it's fast, and uh, it has a very large cargo um, cargo hold, which is why a lot of people like it to like farm and pirate OPC and all that. So, um, and it comes in handy here because you can bring it into the ship in here and you can farm these guys so you can farm these supply ships and you get about ten thousand each pop they're not the exocomp is, you're not going to have access to that anyway but um it's going to not be boosted here so the idea though is using your vidar which is a quick way to farm to get these and get like five hundred thousand plunder cargo because once you have that five hundred thousand and when when the refinery finally opens for you you'll be able to buy two amalgam pulls uh, of exocomps and that will allow you to then apply that remember to apply it while your ship is in dock send it out go to your amalgam and then go get these these ships now the thing to remember without the exocomp it's just grinding away on these ships the vidar is much faster and uh you can see person uh farming right now is using the explorer over here now i just want to you know point out look um if you're trying to make these runs, right? Oh, here's one. Let's go to that. Oof. Thing moves like a tractor. Tractor that's slower than other tractors, all right? So things to consider about that, all right? When you're using the Exocomp, time is of the essence and counting down. Also, you're not gonna beat anybody racing for these. So there either have to be a lot of them or you have to be in here by yourself. Now. Officers that I've considered in here are like uh, Claw because he makes your impulse speed faster. So you can maybe get there before someone else. Um, five of 11 because she's boosting the cargo that you get. And that seems good. Bator, one of our newest officers, she has her special officer ability is on the amalgam only, boosting the amalgam's bonus loot ship ability by 10%. So these are officers that have some use. Other speed crews, um, boosting your cargo space, not your protected cargo, but your total cargo space, like with the Stan and Borg Stan and those types of officers, that can help. Uh, again, because it makes it bigger, and then when it gets maxed out, it goes over it and brings home some. So those are all good. Um, so you kind of do a rinse and repeat. I, I have the amalgam, but I typically do a little bit of farming to make sure I have enough to pull my exocomps with a Vidar, because uh, it's a lot faster. Um, and... Uh, that just seems to be an easy enough way. Um, so like using the Vidar to do a little bit of that farming, saving up, getting those exocomps, then using then using the amalgam. Now, another tip, when you're using your amalgam, it's good to bring something like your Vidar or a Saladin or something because if you have to start hitting the other ships, um, the battleships or, or um, the interceptors that are in there, hitting them to make the... Um, to make the supply ships appear. That can be very important. And you don't want to go doing that with the um, with the amalgam. It seems to be a little 
tissue paper armored. So um, be aware of that. You want to kind of focus on hitting. You really only need to hit two, one, two, or three of these guys, of these supply ships in order to make a run home and then bring it back to do again. But you don't want to have to stop to repair if you can avoid it because time is ticking down while you're using that exocomp. So I use it with the exocomp to grind these to get a few million so that I got my pulls. Then use my Vidar to kind of keep uh, to do some of the farming periodically to keep it ready to do the pulls because it's a little easier than trying to rush and work with this. So anyway, I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Please, uh, please consider liking with the thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you'll know uh, next time I post a video and subscribe. We're pushing up on 500 subscribers, which is wonderful. We want to push further to 1,000 and beat that YouTube algorithm. And you can help by doing that, and I would appreciate it. Also, look down in the links for my Discord link and my Twitch stream links. So I stream on YouTube on Sundays, but also on Twitch every other day. So check everything out, and I hope to see you there. Y'all take care. Cock-a-doodle-doo.